I messed up. Um, I messed up. I accidentally put the BMW into storage, and in my haste, I forgot one of the most important things. Not only is the car not stabilized in terms of the fuel, but the car is also filthy. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And if you guys don't know, Wisconsin is just ever so slightly bipolar. If we take a look outside, there's no snow, and it is 50 degrees. Scratch that, it's 60 degrees. 15 days ago, on October 31st, it snowed, which is why I put the cars away. They sold to the roads, they did all of that. It's rained a couple of times, so the streets are actually clean, but the cars are tucked away, so we're gonna leave them there. But, I didn't wash the BMW, and it's been bothering me, and I can't put the car cover on, because it's just going to make the dirt just entrapped underneath it for the winter. Like it's only the BMW and it's kind of easily accessible, but there's a couple of things we gotta talk about. We gotta clean the car and well, let's get into it before the sun sets in another hour because it's 2.30 and it's gonna be dark in an hour and a half. Now this garage is completely empty. If you can't hear my echo, not a single car parked in here because unfortunately the garage door broke, which means I can't work on my cars anymore for the next month. You've been living under a rock. You've maybe missed my barn find Miata. This is not my car, but this is my new car. And well, it's on pause for now. But in the meantime, we got the BMW right here and it's a little funky to get out because the car is actually parked almost in the middle of these two doors with uh, the car needing to be angled that way because there's a well there and uh, there's a door there. So it's very awkward. Nonetheless, we gotta get it out. Luckily, it's always easier taking the car out than putting the car in, so the real struggle is gonna be after we get done with it. We got a little under half a tank, so I'm gonna top that off because the streets are clean. As I said, they salted the roads, but it also uh, rained two or three times, so I think we should be okay. Car took about six gallons, and we're all topped up. One thing I notice is this car, it doesn't get to operating temperature at like a reasonable time. It takes extra time. So I might have to look into the cooling system next year, which is one of the big three of this car. Funny enough, I complained about it being dark so fast. We're actually waiting for it to become a little more dark. So the front of the car won't be in the direct sunlight when we wash it, which is kind of funny. But let's take a look at how dirty this car actually is because it might not seem like it because the gray hides a lot or the silver hides a lot, but let's take a look. Okay, so to say the least, she's a little dirty. The main thing is the silver, I mean, from like this far away, the car looks pretty clean. Silver hides dirt better than any color, which is great until you forget about the car actually being dirty. Five minutes later um, it's a lot cleaner it's a lot lot cleaner but this car feels so much better I always forget how clean this car can turn out because it usually just sits like in the garage it's silver it's like it's just a little bit duller but then when you wash it it looks so good all right we've got the BMW parked inside many 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 hours later let's give it a little wax and uh, make it look even better than it looks right now there's a couple of areas in this car that I think are going to need to be repainted, mainly the front bumper. We might even have to get a brand new front bumper because the old one, <laughs> the fiberglass, plastic, whatever it is, is cracking and flaking. So I don't think it can be repaired, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to get it repaired if it can be, but I think the whole front end is gonna need a respray. 
and then I'll probably paint protect it. Even though the car doesn't get driven a whole lot, paint protection film, especially after seeing what happened to the front end of this car with some construction and also the last 23, 24 years, it definitely could have used it. And unfortunately, I mean, I wasn't the brand new owner. Any vehicle, any new vehicle going into the future or any just vehicle in general that has good front end paint that I buy is going to get paint protection film. Anyways, let's get into the waxing bit of this video and finish it off. I'm just trying to make more videos, make some more consistent videos, even if they're a little shorter. I know in the last couple of months, I haven't really done the best of job at making videos, but we're back for now and just kind of making more videos a little more frequently. And uh, next year, hopefully there's gonna be some exciting videos. Small progress report. It's probably hard to see on camera. This part has been waxed, this part hasn't. Honestly, it's a very minor difference, but there's a little bit of more of a shine to the paint. You probably can't even tell on camera, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go ahead and go around the entire car, just because, I mean, it makes it pop just a little bit more, and uh, I think the car will look really good. Just all waxed, especially next year when we pull it out, it'll still have some shine on it, which will be awesome. Many, many minutes later, the car looks exactly the same after 30 minutes or so of wax in it. Silver cars are great because they hide everything, but you're also never gonna see a huge transformation like that car. That car was crazy how it was before I waxed it. I'm trying to get more into detailing. We need to get a detail sponsor on the channel. I'm learning more every day. Clay bar, wax, polish, cut, all of these different things to make the cars paint better and take what is already here and amplifying it to a different level. Next week, I'm actually gonna be doing my very first clay bar and wax to the Mustang. I'm not gonna cut it yet. I'm not going to take my most expensive car, my one of my most expensive cars, and uh, use that as a test subject. This was the test subject for the baseline, and now that I'm comfortable, with that, I'll do it to this car and the Mustang. In the future, there's many things I want to do to this BMW. Hopefully in the winter, we'll be able to knock some of these things out. The reason why I don't go ham with modifying this car is it's so good as a stock car. And when I do buy a clown shoe, cause I will buy the coupe at some point, that's when I want to modify the car and put money into that car and just leave this car as is cause I love it like this. I think the coupe being more rigid than this car just from factory and then adding on top of that would make it phenomenal. And if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Let me know on what you guys want to see in terms of content with the BMW, Miata, Mustang, Bronco, Lexus, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.